hello, make Detroit Circles or the Wavix House a thing, and Detroit Circles won. So I, I think we might actually end up making Detroit Circles. But yeah, today's like level requests, because I know a lot of people were doing level, like asking for level requests yesterday. So I'll probably do that. And then also, you know, do Cataclysm in between level requests. I never subbed. Why was I notified? I don't know. You were sleep maybe you were sleepwalking last night and in your sleepwalking you subscribed to my channel. I, I have no doubt that's possible. I wonder if anyone's actually ever done that. Once you pass 42 on Kata, you got it. I don't know. I mean, because the thing is, I have really, really bad nerve control. Like, if you, you know, everyone's seen, you know, technical and being like, awkward, awkward, or I stopped working for a second there. Um, Ocular Miracle. It, literally, this, he, whenever he's in the second half of the level, his heart rate went up to like 200 something. That's pretty much what happens to be just on a regular basis. See, I got a transition from this, th that straight fly, which is like the hardest part out of this hard part into this. I'm gonna somehow die at this part, this memory, like a, a really dumb death if I don't die at 42. If I don't die right here at 64, then I probably will, I would have died like right before it, just for no reason. Or this last wave. I'll probably somehow die at this last wave, or or the final straight fly, it's one of the two. Oh, well, if I do 35 to 100, we're going from zero. Don't be phobic. Yeah, don't be phobic, I guess. On the subject of that, it's, it's still Pride Month, which is... What's gonna be interesting is on July 1st, literally everyone, all the all of the fucking uh, business, like corporate Twitter accounts will just all immediately go back to black and white, which is the, the weirdest shit. For one month, they have to like put up with them. They're like, okay, fine. We'll make everything rainbow for a month, raise the prices, and hopefully that'll help. While also donating to like a bunch of shit that you, like basically, you know, it validates everything about you. But oh yeah, go, we'll, we'll, we'll make everything rainbow for a month. Uh, and then like immediately right after that, just like fuck the gays. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's called rainbow capitalism when they do that. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's rainbow capitalism is goofy. Uh, what's also really funny is like basically watching like old people and shit like getting really pissed off that gay people exist. That's always funny to, especially when like they don't even know how to actually be like be horrible people. Uh, you know, talking to like I don't know like transgender, they'll be like, "You'll never be a real man," and they're like, "Wow, thank you." Wasn't trying to be. That's funny shit. I like I like seeing people mess up when they're trying to be like homophobic and shit like obviously it's horrible and stuff but it's still like bruh i mean hey if i wanted to take part in rainbow capitalism i could do uh could do this hey guys pride month <laughs> i'd probably troll people though like i'd be like oh yeah face reveal 50k and then like make a fake one what why What the? What? No words. words! No words! Where did I- Just the dumbest possible death on this level. I am a certified. Where did I die? Pause menu. Show hitboxes. Yeah, I, I held. So that that happened. What? What? what, what why am I the pasta? So today I I'm here to debunk these uwuix claims. Uh, this this has recently come to my attention. A lot of people in chat keep calling me uwuix uwuix. So today I'm just you know just we must discuss it. I guess at this point, um, if you were expecting an apology video, well, fuck you. This is why uwuix is disinformation. A political message produced by Waybix. Uh, recently it has come to my attention that there are accusations that I am uuix, meaning that some people think I'm a furry. Today I will give you the top 10 reasons why I am not a furry. I am actually a YouTuber, which is arguably worse. Top 10 reasons I am not a furry. Reason number one. I have stated before that I like women. And have, have you ever seen a straight furry? 
Probably not. I haven't. I'm sure they probably exist. At the very least, they're very rare. Uh, so th that's the first reason. Reason number two. Humans are better than animals. I'm not vegan. Suck my dick, PETA. Reason number three. Cat girls are not the same as furries. Now, just to be clear, I def I definitely do not like cat girls, okay? That, that is an established fact. But that is something I should mention because even if I did, which I don't, that is not the same thing. So I'm at least two levels away from furry. At least two levels away from it, right? So I, I'm like double safe here, basically. Reason number four. I am not legally old enough to engage in what would be considered furry things or anything like that for, nor for more normal people, um, which the following people should probably keep in mind. Stay away from me. Uh, reason number five. It's not like I have dementia, so I would know Uwux is proven false. Just saying. Reason number five. Reason number six. You can check my search history to prove it. That I'm not a furry. And well, okay, actually, please don't. Reason number seven. I do not have the traits of a furry. So, a furry would watch Dream, would say, oh, oh, oo, oo, and shit. Uh, sees furry whenever closing their eyes. They see furry stuff when they close their eyes when they when they go to sleep. I do not watch Dream. I do not say Owo or Uwu unless I'm literally reading chat or in this presentation. Uh, and I see tragedy whenever I close my eyes. I see the tragedy if you guys remember. Actually, you guys weren't there. Never mind. Okay, reason number eight. Uwuix is not the name of my channel. If I was a furry, the name of my channel would be Uwuix. And it is Wavix. Because that actually makes sense. Because I'm not a furry. Reason number nine. I'm, a, I'm not a VTuber or a PNG tuber. I'm just a normal YouTuber. This one should speak for itself. Reason number 10. I'm over $400,000 in debt. How the fuck- There is a petition now for me to do a video. It's a tier- There's a petition- There's literally a, a fucking change.org petition for me to actually like go and make a like a, a tier list video ranking all of the icons based off sexiness. Why? It's funny, because, like, I said, oh, yeah, if it gets to 100 signatures, I'll, I'll I'll do it, and it might actually get to 100 signatures. It's the funniest shit ever. I doubt I'll, view, I'll, I doubt I'll beat it today. What's probably gonna happen is, like, I'll get, like, 90 or some shit. Hard Demon jump to Extreme Demon? I mean, it's not that big of a jump. Like, compared to something like Cataclysm to Bloodlust, it's not that bad. So here's, here's probably what's gonna happen. Uh, chat. I'm gonna die either at the wave part or at the straight fly at least once from zero. I know that for a fact. And then I'm gonna die here like four times, at least. That's what I'm assuming. Zodiac when? I could. That would but that would actually be really fun, like in a month or so if I when I don't have anything else to stream. Like I could literally just do a week with Zodiac, just to see what I do. It'd be something like 30 runs. Show us please the petition. I like how the start position says nine out of eleven. <laughs> Get it? It it's a it's a it's a reference to the Never mind. Okay, this 40% ship is the biggest roadblock ever, other than the first wave. Once you've passed the 40% ship, it's basically like you, you're you at 80%. That's what it feels like. Because I, okay, there's this weird dumb thing where like, you can, you don't even have to tap this yellow orb. Because there's like a, someone placed a, a block under it, I guess. 1.9 layering is so awesome. It is. It's so awesome that like, I never even really played the game in 1.9, so. Question is, what part of Geom Trash history is the equivalent of World War II and like Hitler's rise to power? If we're comparing Geom Trash history to like world history. Okay, okay, yeah. 1.9 is when Jesus was born. We can, we can say that. World War II is the bloodlust or PPF debate. That was so funny. What update is 9? Okay, 9-11 would have been, um... What, yeah, what is the GD equivalent of 9-11? Okay, wait, well, let's go, let's focus on the World War One, World War II thing, right? So that it'd have to be two crazy big events that were really stupid that happened relatively close to each other in terms of timeline in the Jump Trash history. Like if we're talking like what was Jump Trash World War One and World War Two? For reference, 2.0 is the Dark Ages. Crazy is 9-11. That's too, that's too long ago though, right? If we're talking for like if today's present day, j okay, just a GD player is 9-11? Okay, maybe. Because I feel like with Advi out, that, that felt... That felt much more major than, like, just a GD player. Do you guys remember when, like, C1997 started a diss track war with, like, four other teenagers with Carpet Tunnel? Okay, Advi's 9-11. We could say Advi's 9-11. That just means that we have to have an even bigger event in Jump Trash history to count as World War II. Just a GD player when he wants a hug. <laughs> Bruh. Imagine, okay, imagine you're just chilling at, at like, 1 a.m. On a, on a school night. You're just chilling, you're doing some homework, and then you get a DM on Discord from Justin GD player saying that he wants a hug. 
That is something that would scare you right away. Right versus cyclic is World War One. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to specifically re recreate World War One and World War Two in Geometry Dash. Because okay, because basically that was if we're talking 1.9 is like when Jesus was born in in relative terms of Geometry Dash history, then it's basically that would that would be closer to like the Roman Empire falling. But I don't know. World War Two is Kugelblitz. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll have wait. Okay, Kugelblitz drama. World War Two is Novel Boy versus Crazen and Verifying Bloodlust. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do World War One. We'll have World War One be the Kugelblitz drama, and then World War Two is Novel Boy versus Crazen on Bloodlust, and or Bloodlust versus Plasma Pulse finale. We'll do that. Okay, so that so that's good, right? That's good. And then sh what about the whole Zodiac drama, where like Zodiac turned out like when uh, Xander hacks Zodiac, and then was that like a Korean War because everyone just like forgets about it and just assumes technical verified it and it didn't really lead to anything. Tosh, okay, Tosh is the John Trash equivalent of like. I there is a certain person I was about to say, but I think that might actually just get me canceled. What's the equivalent of War on Terror? War on Terror. Um, I don't know. We have to figure out what nine. Okay, so let's say Ad V Out is nine eleven, and then War on Terror is like Slaughterhouse versus the Koopan Circles. Maybe I don't know. We can't get much more recent than that without getting without me getting cancelled. When someone hacked the Jump Trash community levels? That's pretty common though, so we could just classify that as a shooting. Sorry, I live in America, shootings are pretty common here. What's the- oh, Emu War. Emu War. Um, the Emu War can be the, uh, Cyrillic diss track thing. Re race to beat AOD as Ukraine- but See, that's the thing, I can't- I can't- That- <laughs> The Golden versus Tartarus could be Korean War, because the Korean War no one know who would win. But, like, looking back, it's just so clear that the Golden was easier. So, okay, so that, well, we got all that done, right? So if pre-1.9 is just BCE, so we have to equivalent different historical levels from pre-1.9 to, like, historical buildings in real life, right? So we have to find the Great Pyramids, which we could say maybe the pyramids would be, like, the Hell series from Sun 924 or whatever. Silent Club is the Great Wall of China. What else do humans build thousands of years ago? Excuse me while I die here. Silent Club is Victorian era. I feel like Victorian era is too late for that though. Nine circles is guns. <laughs> um, the Roman thing is like bloodbath. Sure. Yeah, well, I'll have bloodbath be that. The pyramids are the alphabet series. Maybe. Hold on. What's Trojan horse? Okay, Trojan horse. Yeah, what would Trojan horse be? That would be like um, white space is too recent. White space is more like, do you know a girl that can that could look? This is not. That has nothing to do with the conversation. And no, Cataclysm is- okay, no, no, the release of the game was human life first starting. Rob Tob's birth would be, like, the Big Bang, if we're talking drama trash history. <laughs> Element 111 or G is alien conspiracies. Yes, exactly, okay, that's true, that's true. So the Storm Stormfly and, like, Restoration Union are basically, like, archaeologists, right? Crazen was Trojan horse, we thought he was cool. Yeah, we, we could say that. We, we said, okay, so we said Noctifly and like the Kugelblitz thing was World War One. So World War Two would have been Novel Boy versus Crazy and Bloodlust stuff and like Bloodlust versus Plasma Plus Finale and all that. I know a girl who can love you, her name is Wavex. What the? Aeon Air is cancel culture? Why is Aeon Air cancel culture? 1.9 is Industrial Revolution. No, I think, okay, Industrial Revolution would be um, when people, uh, like, found out how to get rid of the object limit. Or, like, when that became accessible. So, like, some mega hack version. Okay, let's have, okay, let's recap Geometry Dash history, but it's world history. So, world history, but it's Geometry Dash, basically. Rob Top, we start with Rob Top's birth, which is the birth of the universe. And then when Geometry Dash is first released, 1.0, basically, that would be the first detection of human life. After that first detection of human life, up until 1.9, that's all prehistoric era. So then 1.9 would be like the Roman Empire and like Jesus and stuff, right? So that's 1.9, okay? So we have 1.9 as like roughly around year one, basically. Year one, like CE. So then we just have that going. Okay, we'll say Bloodbath is the rise of Christianity because there basically is a religion around Bloodbath at this point. The release of 2.0 would be like the Middle Ages, like Dark Ages and stuff, because everything about the Middle Ages actually sucked, even though people make it look like it was really fun. The release of 2.1 would be like, basically around like 1700s, like people, you know, figuring out the, uh, that North and South America exist and that the Earth is round. Um, Industrial Revolution would be like mega hack. And then we're gonna go through some wars here. World War One is the Kugelblitz versus Noctifly and then Noctifly getting exposed drama. World War Two would be you know, Novel versus Crazen and that whole Bloodlust thing, and like also Bloodlust versus Plasma Pulse Finale. Zodiac would basically be, like the Zodiac drama where it got hacked is the Korean War because, um, no one remembers it. You should make a full video on this topic? Maybe. That would be funny. <laughs> basically, the, the Cold War is the race to dethrone Tartarus, right? Because everyone, pretty much everyone was just like, everything, something needs to get rid of Tartarus, right? 
So what happened was, I, I would say, is the Vietnam War is the golden because it didn't result in anything. Like, basically, it's kind of like how the U.S. got involved and, like, nothing happened. Like, all we did was, like, make the stuff worse. French Revolution is Yada Grasse nerf. Okay, yeah, that works. I think that works. Yeah, so, like, RG... So, this Yada nerf... So, Yada, be, Yada Grasse being nerfed was the French Revolution. FPS bypass would just be lumped in with Industrial Revolution with, like, Mega Hack and stuff. Or maybe FPS bypass is, like, computers becoming a thing? I don't know. Or nukes. Nukes. Nukes becoming a thing. Yeah, so 9-11 is Advi out. And then the war on terror or whatever, slaughterhouse and Sukup and circles. So then what is the pandemic? Is the pan- okay, so what? what's the geometry equivalent of the pandemic? Should we create another- should we, do we have to create a multiverse? I think we might have to create a multiverse. Okay, so just a GD player is pandemic and AOD is is the recent war. That could work. I think I think that yeah that works. Or wait wait no pa pandemic is everyone fighting over Sukup and circles versus slaughterhouse versus AOD. That could be a pandemic. So if 2.2 is good, it's nuclear war. And then if 2.2, no, sorry, if 2, no, 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 wait, wait. If it's bad, that's nuclear war. If it's good, then we'll just say basically another techn technological revolution that like makes everyone's lives better. If 2.2 is bad, basically that means the future of human history will be very, very bad. And if 2.2 is good, so it's like an omen, basically. What is this pandemic? I've never heard of it. Nepe so if Nepe we've established Nepesta is the geometry equivalent of Elon Musk. So if he verifies return zero, that's him reaching Mars. What is New Zealand? What would be the Ugandan genocide? Aeon Air is Queen Elizabeth II. You're yeah, right, because Aeon Air has, he's been playing the game since like the very beginning, before 1.9, which in this timeline is roughly prehistoric. I use 60 FPS and have 93 on true unnerved slaughterhouse. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Why is Wavix so short? I am kind of short. Yo, short king. I know, I'm kind of short. Like, I'm like 5'10", so. <laughs> you were five inches taller than me. What do you mean? <laughs> I know, I'm trolling. I'm 5'10". <laughs> I'm going to rant about middle school for a bit, right? At least in the US, it's like... Middle school is pretty much like ages 11 to 14, generally, unless you get like held back or something. So, it's like 6th or 8th grade, you're like literally just the time you hit growth spurt so you have kids in the within like the same two years who are between who are like some are like four four seven and some are like six seven it's ridiculous like my uh my eighth grade class we had kids who were still four eleven five oh uh and then we also had this one kid who's six three that's why all the teachers wear high heels <laughs> no no worries Dude, that, that was that was hilarious <laughs> i'm just like directing traffic at this point like <laughs> hyper rift you literally started 67 spam but i i saw it and i was like okay i'm gonna scroll up because it's like yeah guys let's confuse wavix no <laughs> you can't confuse me i have no such weakness we'll just put it i think i have like literally challenge this folder so we'll just have six we'll call it 67. <laughs> A thousand objects so it doesn't get auto deleted. Welcome to 67, the Wavix challenge. That was way too easy. Go ahead and guess the, the password, by the way. If you guys want to continue the meme, I think you guys could like. Right, so if you guys want to make like remix of this or like 67, 67 times, I'm sorry to me, that'd be funny. Top 67 list challenge, exactly. I'm gonna die the ship. I'm calling it here. Where the emoji? Not time ship. See, I can literally tell the future. I got 98 on stalemate the other day. I've never been more pissed in my life. Dude, stalemate is so hard. It's like, that's such a sad level to get 98 on. That, that sucks. I know it's annoying because I'm not going from zero, but just bear with me. I'm going to have to probably play from here just to get 40% a little more consistent because I keep dying here and I... Bruh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Imagine a Wavix cube. Okay, if there ever is a Wavix, so I said at 10k, I might make a Wavix texture pack, which I would probably work on with other people, considering I have no idea how to um how to do that. I I think I think I might have like an icon set that's all just my uh, YouTube profile picture on all of the icons. Um, probably also like the cheat edge and ball, and like some other stuff. I'll probably get other people to help me work on it because I've I've never really like made a texture pack before. And I want it to be something that I would use myself, right? Like, I don't want it to be something like... Because I, I want it to f look, like, if it, fairly same to, like, the normal vanilla game. But not, like, t 
too not like too similar. Right? Maybe there's a way we could make like specifically poltergeist not show up on the menus. Uh, that's not possible, but that. Bruh, well, I'm so what the what? I verified the golden. Let's go. Uh, okay, everyone, I'm gonna end stream. Uh, I'll be back in 25 minutes. Sharp. 25 minutes sharp. All right. So if you if you want to keep watching, that's great. I will be back in 25 minutes. Um. <laughs> Exactly. Just warm up a little bit. Oh wait, I have no clip on. From showing you guys very good. Uh... Bruh. So, I'm basically, depending on my energy level, I will either have a Nepesta reaction or, a, or an N-Swish reaction or some ungodly combo of both. You're curious what the ungodly combo would be? Um, okay, Dubby. I don't know what that would- I don't know exactly, but I'm- I think it would probably end up basically... Sort of being like Nepesta's Zodiac reaction, except more chaotic. Because with Nepesta's Zodiac one, he like- he like stutters, and he's- and then he shouts. Like, he- he like stutters for a bit, and then immediately goes back to being Nepesta. For me, I'd I just like wavex.exe has stopped working would be more accurate description of what it would look like, probably. Basically that I'm trying to like I'm trying to speak but I can't because no energy. So it's basically a seizure. Bro, 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 what? 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 Why? Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. That was so stupid. I like lost all nerve control and I like I like <laughs> I died at 69. If I pass, okay, if I beat it in the next 10 attempts, I'm officially gay. Alright, I think, I think we're, we think we're done here today. Oh my gosh. I'm going into this with the very, very much the mindset that I am going to die at the end a lot. Because that's what happened yesterday. So I'm, I'm very much okay with that at this point. Um, my parents aren't even home, so I mean... I can Nepesta all I want, really. So, if, like, Silent Club Step and Acheron are verified, it'll go down to 71. And then, usually, like, you know, a few other levels are rated. So, it could all- it could make it all the way to, like, almost December, and then- Or November 24th, or whatever it was. And actually make it to the six-year mark. I'm, I'm- am I going- I'm going for Bloodbath after this, probably. This one, and, uh, Blade of Justice. Because I- I want to do both. Blood, uh, Bloodbath, Blade of Justice, and, like... Yadagrasu are like the three levels I've always wanted to beat. Obviously Yadagrasu is much more of a commitment than the other two, because the other two I can probably beat this summer. At least one of them this summer. And also Blade of Justice is just such a cool level that people people severely underestimate Blade of Justice in my opinion. I think it's really cool. That's what I'm I'm glad uh, Edge of Destiny I think is bringing that back to the game. Am I completing the Hell Troll? Yes I am. So like this, if you're by Hell Trilogy, if you mean this, and then Bloodbath and Aftermath, then yes. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's weird, because, like, some people call it the Apocalyptic Trilogy, but, like, that's also a level, so it's like, will you complete the Apocalyptic Trilogy? You mean the three levels or the one? But yeah, I will beat the Trilogy. Someone get the bot. Oh my god, why are there so many fucking bots, bro? Alright, everyone spam the word gay to get rid of the bots. Everyone spam the word gay. So, I'm gonna stop reading chat now, but when you guys, because it'll, it'll still appear in the video, right? So, basically what I'm thinking, right, is... When it comes to, uh, like, when I when I get far in the level, just spam 67 and, like, just random- just spam 67 and go, right? So 67 and go. 67. Bruh, I actually died at 67. Okay, that's funny. That's a little funny. It's a little goofy. Pretty much, like, just the entire, uh, last three days. It's just, I always end up getting really far and choking the ship. Sucks, bro. Literally can't. And I have like, I have like, literally worst mindset now. Like I know now I'm gonna do a dumb death, right? Like, I have like no increased heart rate at all. Because if I don't die to something dumb at the memory part here, I literally always die to the ship.
Okay, that was actually really stupid. That was dumb. That was really Let's think. Okay, how many deaths have I had at the end today? Or overall, actually. Dead once is 75, which we won't count as a ship death since it happened right after the ship, technically. So 74x4. Um, or sorry, 71x4. We've done that four times. I died at 70 just now because I'm a dumb. I died at 69 once. Uh, I died at 68 once as well. I died at 67, I think now three times, which means that's 11. And then I died at 65 like four times, so that's like 15. And then I might have died at 66 a couple times as well. So we got, we're almost at like 20 ship deaths, which is really bad. See, like that death makes sense because that part's just disproportionately harder than the parts before it and after. So it makes sense I'm going to die there a lot. Dude, let's let's actually go. Let's fing go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I can't f***ing feel my legs. Dude, I actually jumped. I finally beat shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Dude, my entire body fell asleep. Oh my god. I, I jumped from nine circles. This is my first extreme. Let's go! Oh my god. 67, confirmed. Oh my god. Thank you guys all for being here. Oh my god, dude. Dude, I actually- dude, let's go. Dude, I've actually- I've looked up to this level for so long. Um... Actually, uh, this- the- the ship part was actually the- the first- One of the first things I saw when I actually got the full version. When I- when I went onto YouTube, the first thing I actually saw was Partition's, um... Partition's video on, like, Clutterfunk V2 or some dumb thing like that. But, like... It was one of the first things I ever saw was Cataclysm and, and well, Bloodbath, but also Cataclysm. Um, and I've actually fucking, I've actually fucking beat this, dude. Like, it's insane. Uh, six years later. Oh my god.
Nice chance of looking at me. Oh, 